Hello, in this, in this uh, video we're going to be looking at a class of continuous distributions called uniform distributions. And in this one in particular we're going to be looking at the PDF graph and probability. Now recall that for continuous distribution areas under the PDF graph and above the x-axis are probabilities. In general areas are more difficult to compute and estimate than vertical distances, which is how we find uh, probabilities on CDFs. So PDFs are a little harder to work with than CDFs when calculating probability and especially in calculating inverse probability. However, they do give a nice visualization of the probability and for that reason they are often uh, given as illustrations in statistics books. Now to compute an area under a PDF, it's much easier if the shape formed is something for which we know how to find the area. And the easiest area to calculate is just a rectangle. Recall that the area of a rectangle is just the length of the base multiplied by the height. So if we can get rectangular areas if the graph of the PDF is a horizontal line for the piece we're needing. This occurs when the formula for the PDF is a constant function on this important piece. This type of continuous distribution is known as a uniform distribution. Or if we want to be more specific, a continuous uniform distribution because we had a sort of a discrete uniform earlier. So here's what it looks like for the PDF. Uh, the PDF graph is a horizontal line segment of uniform height on some interval from A to B and is zero everywhere else. The values of A and B determine which uniform distribution we're considering. So the PDF formula is in three pieces, a piece to the left here, which is zero, a piece to the right here, which is zero, and then a piece that's important between A and B, and this one, say, between three and seven, and we have a horizontal piece. So really, you only need to consider what's happening between three and seven. There is no probability or a probability of zero outside of that interval. And so you can write this as a formula, uh, PDF of X equals whatever this constant value is from you know, A to B, 3 to 7, and then 0 elsewhere. So if you want to think of it, as, it's really in three pieces, but if you want to think of this last piece and the first piece as being the same part, being 0. So the question here I got for you is, uh, this is a uniform 3, 7. You can see the graph. These dotted lines are not part of the graph, so notice that we have a discontinuity, two discontinuities there in the PDF graph, two breaks. So, but nevertheless, you see a rectangular area here. What is the total area of that big, that rectangle, the total area under the PDF curve? And then, what is the height of this rectangle? How far is this, this horizontal line above the x-axis? See if you can work that out on your own now. Press pause. Well, you should know that probabilities are areas. So between the graph, the PDF, and the x-axis, so the total probability is 1, so the total area is 1. So how about the height? Well, here that box, that rectangle is shaded, and with it has an area of 1. Well, we know the, the area is base times height. But that's also equal to 1. But the height, uh, we don't know. Okay, But the width of the base, we do know. It's uh, b minus a. In this case, 7 minus 3 is 4. So it's four units wide. That means it has to be one fourth of a unit tall. As I plug in here, a four for the height, and I have a four for the base. So four times the height is one. One divided by the base is the height. So that's one fourth. So what's the complete formula for this? Well, it's a piecewise defined formula. It's P of X or PDF of X equals one fourth for x is between 3 and 7 inclusive, but it's 0 otherwise. So in general, how can we take the a and the b and come up with the formula? Okay, so see how we can generalize this. The 1 basically comes from the fact the area is 1. The 4 is just the width. Well, what's the width here? Well, it's b minus a. So the probability there is P of X or PDF of X equals 1 over B minus A for X between A and B and 0 otherwise. So write down the formula and graph of the uniform for 11. Okay, well, from 4 to 11, and let's draw the graph too. So from 4 to 11 is the distance of 7, so the height must be 1, 7. 
The base is 7, the height is 1 7th, multiply that together, you get an area of 1. So the wider this interval is, the shorter the rectangle is, and the narrower it is, the taller the rectangle it is. So you could get an actually pretty tall number here if it was as extremely uh, narrow at the base. Or this may be very low if it's a very wide base. So on this particular distribution, what I'd like to do is solve these three problems. Find the probability that x is less than 7, that x is greater than 5, or that x is between 6 and 9, and then illustrate it in, on the PDF graph. Go ahead and work out these three problems and then come back when you're done. Press pause now. Well, all of these are just finding areas of rectangles. So the probability that x is less than 7 really is, is the probability that it's between 3 and 7 because there's probability 0 that it's less than 3. So we have a rectangle here that goes from 3 to 7, which is a width, uh, I'm sorry, from 4 to 7, excuse me, less than 4 is 0. So from 4 to 7 is a distance of 3 on the base, and the height is 1 7 all the way across. We've already figured that out. So the base is 3, the height is 1 7 multiply together, we get an area of 3 7 That's that area, which is that probability. For the middle one here, we want the probability that x is greater than 5, so that's going to be from 5 to the right forever. Well, forever in this case might as well be 11 because there's nothing to the right of 11 that has any probability. So this is basically the same as still as just from 5 to 11, which is a distance of 6. 11 minus 5 is 6, so that's the base of 6. The height is 1 7. Base times height is that area, which is 6 7, and that is the probability. The last one is from 6 to 9, the probability in the middle here. Well, the base goes from 6 to 9, that's a distance of 3. 9 minus 6 is 3, the height is 1 7th. Base times height, 3 times 1 7 is 3 7 which is that probability. Notice that the first and last ones, the rectangles are exactly the same size because, well, first of all, they all the rectangles have the same height, 1 7th in this case, so uniform height, and it's hence the name uniform distribution, but also any um, interval here of length 3 is going to end up having the same area or the same probability. And the one in the middle has an as a base that's twice as long, it has an area twice as much. And so uh, the probability is proportional to that uh, the length of that base. So the probability density, density is evenly spread out over the defining interval from A to B. Intervals of the same length, which are totally contained in AB, have the same probability. Probability is proportional to the length of the interval. The proportionality constant is the height of the rectangle, which is 1 over B minus A. We are primarily studying uniform distributions to see the relationship between area under the PDF and the probability for a function uh, where these areas are easy to calculate. But there are some real world situations that are modeled well by uniform distribution. In our next video, we're going to come back and do a few application problems, putting into practice what we have learned here in context.